Now we just need to adjust our light here so that it'll cast shadows correctly and that we can see them. So let's double click on our light here and if you look you can see that there actually is a shadow being cast and I'll uncheck this and check it to show you like that and you will want to bring the shadow darkness down and you can see that you aren't able to change the shadow diffusion with the parallel light so you're gonna get a stronger sharper shadow when you use a parallel light and uh, there's the example there so if we go into two views here where we can see what the uh, light looks like there's the symbol there and we can aim the light using the point of interest here and if I twirl open the light transform properties and move around you can see that the point of interest is animatable as well as the position here now you may notice that <clears throat> there isn't any option to rotate this light well you can't rotate the the uh, the light here you have to use the point of interest if you want to be able to uh, start rotating you can't even click on the rotation button here and try to rotate on one of the axes or anything it does not let you so the parallel light has the point of interest and position that are animatable now with anything that has a point of interest you can usually auto orient towards the point of interest so that will end up uh, letting you save some time of keyframing the point of interest if you'd like to keep it in one place and move around the light so I'll show you real quick and if you right click on the light and come to transform auto orient the auto orient comes up and then you can click on orient towards point of interest and hit, hit OK and then when I move my light here actually when I move my position I need to move my uh, I need to keyframe the position and now we can move the light around there we go and we want to have the auto orientation there and so when I move this now it's going to auto automatically stay where that light orientation is so after you're done keyframing your uh, keyframes you set where the uh, position of the uh, point of interest should be and it will auto orient all, always to that position then you can make like nice rotations and things like that with your light without having to put so many keyframes down and if you remember the spotlight also has a point of interest so you can also do that with a spotlight now if I just change this to a spotlight and hit OK the uh, layer is already ori auto oriented and already has the keyframes so now we have the uh, layer moving on the motion path while staying auto oriented towards the point of interest I'll change this back to the parallel light real quick and um, I don't have anything else to go over for the parallel light just uh, I mean it shoots uh, one way out and I'll bring up the uh, picture again hopefully the picture actually made sense it shoots uh, one way out so you can direct where the light is coming from and uh, remember that the uh, shadows are going to be a little more crisp and um, that's uh, those are pretty much the uh, main points of the uh, parallel light thanks for uh, watching this one thumbs up it if you liked it thumbs down it if you absolutely hate parallel lights so I'm gonna see you guys in the next tutorial hopefully thanks for watching and have a good one